Um, obviously, you know, one win doesn't necessarily put the program at the top of the world. <laughs> right. Just looking at the anticipation of this from, you know, playing in a, new, uh, a newly renovated stadium, the roster you brought in, the first that you're the first black coaches, all of these storylines for fans to pull from. What does it mean to start your tenure off, your, your tenure off with a win today? Well, you know, anytime you come into a new situation and there's a lot of anticipation, as you talked about, everybody wants that first one. So to get that first one out of the way makes it a lot easier. If we, we don't win and now we get two or three down the road and then people start pressing and all that. So what I love most about our team was is that fight, that resolve, you know, and I think that embodies what we've been talking about and how we've been building these guys all year long is, hey, it's never over till it's over. And we continue to stay in there and fight and fight and fight. Got some good pitching performances to hold it close for us by, you know, by Dalton Kendrick and then come out and get a big hit. You know, you got Cam Benson who goes, 0 for 3 with three punch outs and then comes up and gets a big hit there at the end. So um, that's who we're going to be, right, is to have that resolve and that fight. And I think that all just wraps into everything that we've been doing. Yeah, when you talk about, I know when we talked to you earlier, you said it was going to be a process and just establishing your culture. This was the first chance that fans got to see what that culture kind of looks like for you. And just how do you feel that they represented that today? Uh, very well, right? I think you had some guys, like I said, that didn't do well to start. It's very easy for them to crawl into a shell or crawl into a hole and have the poor me's, but they didn't, right? They came up, they, they got themselves in good situations. Jay Curtis didn't have the best day at the plate, but he comes in and he closes the game out for us at the end. So I think that's who we are, and, and that's who we're building us up to be as we move forward. And then, you know, in the sixth inning, you're down one run. Sanford's got a, a runner on third, a runner on first, uh, and you get out of that inning with two strikeouts. How, how pivotal was that for the rest of the game, to get out of that sixth inning the way you guys did? Uh, it was huge, right? I think it was just we talked about always playing – clean baseball, throwing strikes, and putting ourselves in a position where we can win at the end. And I think being able to keep that tight, not letting that turn into a crooked number, uh, and getting blown out of proportion uh, was was big for us, and it kept our guys in the fight. And then you got you got to get back at it again this weekend. So what do, what do, you, what do you tell your guys after a win like this? Clean up some of the things that we can do, we should have done better in that game, tighten up our bats a little bit. I thought we played good defense, obviously. So, again, just keep going out. And, and again, when you get that first one, now we're talking about being able to go out and win a series. And when you're playing on the weekend, that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to win that series. So we got a chance to win a series tomorrow. My last question, what did you, what did you think of the, the fan turnout today? I thought it was great for as cold as it was yeah. <laughs> and, you know, not ideal conditions, 2 o'clock start. Um, so I think I, hopefully that shows our guys how much the community is invested in what it is that we're doing. So let's give them something to be proud of.